Welcome, I'm Jitender from Espresso Tech Sales and Service. This video is going to be a short one on how to back flush your espresso machine. Um, this is for units that have three-way valves. So the first thing to do is have your machine up and running nice and warm. Then you take your quarter filter handle and you need to put in your blind basket. So you take a flat head screwdriver and just pop off your old basket like so and replace it with a blind basket that has no holes. Once you do that, now you select the detergent to use. These are some of the detergents we have at Espresso Tech, but essentially any espresso machine detergent will work. You want to just take a teaspoon of this, and now you take this and lock it into your group head. You want to make sure you give it a nice tight snug because it's going to be a lot of pressure in there. Um, the next thing to do is to take off your drip tray cover so you can see what comes out of your unit. So the process of back flushing, you want to turn on the pump for about three to five seconds and then turn it off. Uh, and then you repeat that procedure about five times and then let the machine sit. So turn it on, the machine builds up to pressure and turn it off. Now the chiger, you'll notice it come into your drip tray. Um, we recommend our customers to do the back flushing on their home units every 50 to 100 espressos and for busy commercial coffee bars we recommend them to do it at least every night. Um, this helps keep your unit nice and clean, keeps your shower screen clean, removes old coffee oils and odors and makes your coffee just taste that much better. So we want to repeat that procedure as I said earlier. And this helps really work in the detergent into the three-way valve assembly. Once you have done that, you want to let the machine sit for a good 10 minutes and that helps uh, the detergent really work away and clean up that group head assembly. Once the 10 minutes have gone by, you want to flush out your handle with some water and then lock it back into the group head. Now the purpose of this is just to clean out the detergent from the lines. The detergents usually are food safe. Um, but no one likes a soapy espresso. So just repeat the same procedure again. Cycle on the pump and cycle it off to clean it out. Another trick to do is to jiggle the handle while doing this and that helps clean up the group casket, the group head, the shower screen. So with it off, turn it on and that helps clean out the group head assembly. Again, give it a nice rinse. And you just repeat that procedure one more time. And that's pretty much the whole backflipping procedure. Thanks for watching our video, and stay tuned for our next one.